Hi guys, welcome back to Who Intense Crafts. I'm so very sorry that I've been MIA. I've been extremely busy and I'm going to show you here in a minute why I was so busy. So this is my new craft round. I'm going to try to go slow as I can. I'm so sorry if I go too quickly. I still have a lot to do, but for right now, it's really, really nice. Okay. So, let me start talking about things. Um, here's my little elves. Look at my babies. This is the newest edition. Thank you so, so very much, Amy from Hooked on Wishing. Um... You did not have to send me him. I love, love, love it so very much. These are my peppermint candies. I love peppermint candies. Um, Chocolate peppermint when it's the holidays, they have them out. Okay, so anyway. um, The kids really, really wanted... Let me turn this on for you. There you go. The kids really wanted the third floor, which was my craft room. And half of it was like the game room, toy room, whatever. They really wanted it to be their bedroom because it's huge and it, you can split it in half. So half is Aiden's, half is Alyssa's. Um, for the longest time, Alyssa was like begging me for it. And I said, okay. And then she would like change her mind and say, no, I really like my bedroom. I want to keep it. I said, okay. So then finally she came to me and goes, mommy, I really want that. I said, are you sure? She said, yeah. So by myself, which Mr. Hoot offered to help, but I was like, no, I could do this. Well, I'll get into that in a second. But anyway, I went up there. I started packing up all the toys, bringing them down, packing up all of my yarn, bringing it down. And then I had to go to her room, pack that all up, take that up. Aiden's things as well, pack all his stuff up, take that up. And then hang lights for her and lights for him and uh, all this stuff. So anyway, um, hand went numb. I'm down here now, which is a lot better because walking up and down on the third floor, I didn't do a lot. And on top of it, like if the kids were down in the living room playing, I can't hear anything that they're doing if I'm in the third floor. Like it is, you can't hear anything. So I was always like worried about that. So I was never, hardly ever in my craft room. I was always in my bedroom, which <laughs> was exploded with yarn. If you saw in a previous video, I had the peg boards hung up and, um, you know, loaded with yarn. So now I got to put them in here. I got this whole wall to do. So let me show you what I got. So, they have dressers and things upstairs. So, these I kept down here. And in this top one, I have all of my cakes. Oh, these are the AC Moore ones. I miss AC Moore so, so very much. But I just got, like, cakes in here. Some cakes. And in this one, I'm going to try to do this one-handed because it's really hard. I got... um chunky yarn I got a lot more I gotta like sort down and stuff and put it in here but uh, this is all the stuff that was in my bedroom so on this drawer I have orange pink red and then purple and it's just mixed yarns and then in this one, I have blues, green, and I have, that's it, blues and greens. And then in the last one, I have white and gray and then cream. <laughs> Over here, I have my little table. That's out the way. And then these are my um, things that I had in my room. This is cotton yarn, fur, fur, fur. These two are um, whips. And then this is um, oh, the bulk chunky yarn, kind of. And then this one's my velvet yarn. 
and then my um raffia which is like papery bamboo yarn and then down here is my yarn that I got from a uh, dollar store I have a very small little container right here that has uh, material in it I'm not a huge sewer but when I do my purses I always make a liner so yeah these three have yarn in it this one has these are finished projects and that's my little sweater I still gotta get done <laughs> There's my wall of my hanks, which I still got more. I got a, like I said, I got a hang up over here. Um, this is my unicorn. I'm almost done with my pattern. I had the pattern all written out. I just got to do, um, show pictures of how to attach the arms and then, you know, attach little things. I got to get to that. And then here is my Yoda that I have to get done. There's my lady, Penelope. In this bag, I have um, Stitch. He's all done. I just got to put him together. And then this are just finished project, projects, like purses and things that I just have to add, like the buckles and things to. So, well, I guess whips. This lovely thing is a blanket that my mom had crocheted. Look how pretty. You want to see the coolest thing? Look at that. On one side, it's blue. On the other side, it's red. I don't know how she did this. I want the pattern beyond badly. This blanket is actually my son's baby blanket. I am not your typical baby blanket person. You know, baby colors. I always thought outside the box um, when it came to things like that. And my mom was working on this blanket. She was actually making like a full like king size bed blanket. And I said, mom, oh my goodness, I love that. She goes, really? I said, yes, I love it so very much. And so she surprised me and she made it. <clears throat> so sorry. For my boy. And I've had it for eight years now. And look at this. Like I got to boost my mama. Like never had I got a hole in it pulled apart or anything look how she, she put it together like, I wish so badly she could have taught me how to do this because I love this so much but yeah um he slept with it and he goes mommy why don't you put this in your craft and rest I really he goes yeah so I did and right there it is Alrighty, over here uh, I had a desk in my bedroom uh, you might remember if you saw it in my video before. And I asked Mr. Hoot, well, I was actually going to move it. And he goes, don't you dare, because I'm not allowed to lift things. And um, I'm very stubborn, very, very stubborn. I was like, I can do it. He goes, don't, you're not moving it. So he was very nice enough to move it for me. But he didn't take the drawers out. He thought he could just manhandle it and bring it over. And it broke. The top didn't, thankfully, but the bottom part did. Which, I mean, at first I was I was upset. I didn't let him know I was upset. I said, no, it's okay. But I was really upset. But then it actually worked out better because I don't have the desk, which is good. Because then I'm, I'll be, like, really crowded. So over here, I'm going to put these cool crates that I saw on Pinterest. And then you put, like, yarn in them. Over here, I'm going to hang some crates up, too. <laughs> this is our Disney savings, uh, Lissa. Me. <laughs> I forgot to take that down. But anyway, over here, I'm going to hang some crates, too, and put some yarn in. I thought hanging crates up here, and then put some yarn in. I thought that would be really, really cute. So here's just the top shelf. You saw this before. I'm going to check this out. My owls. Owls are everywhere throughout my house. Seriously, I'm truly obsessed. <laughs> Um, not going to open these because they're really hard one-handed. Oh, I can I guess I can. Oh, well, that was easier than I thought. So this one's like pattern books. Um, I have binders because even though I save my patterns, my mom has always taught me 
that print your patterns out. You never know if your computer going to crash or anything could happen and you could lose your patterns, which is so true because, oh, my voice kept going out. I'm so sorry. Uh, Craftsy or whatever, it went from Craftsy to Blueprint back to Craftsy's. I had so many patterns on that site and I never put them out, which I should have. What happened was, when they changed over, they lost all of my information. So even though I had my same email and password, I put it in. It's like I'm not, I, I don't, I never existed, which makes me really upset. This one, I have paints that I use for my amigurumis. Um, then I have my uh, little buttons, beads, purse things. These things are great for baby toys. Um, yeah. In this one, I have my tool and my little threads. The little threads I use to make earrings. And then, um, the tool I use for dolls. Like, if I'm doing unicorns, I'll do, like, little skirts on them. Or my dolls, I'll do skirts on them as well. And then these are all... Yarn. I'm so sorry. My back is killing me today. I can't bend that low, even though I did for this one. That hurt. <laughs> um, this is my beads for my little bracelets that I make. Jasmine and Belle, my two, two of my three favorite princesses. The third one is Ariel. Um, and a little Al. My little guys and me. My brother wants these, so I took them off my Etsy, and I'm gonna give them to him so I had them laid out because I forgot to take them over to his house my mugs I love I love mugs I don't drink well I do drink out of some of them but not these <laughs> I just store little things in them you see these things my daughter was in the slime and yeah alrighty I think that is it yeah so like I said on this wall I'm gonna do pegboard and then pegboard here and then I'm going to do all the crates up this way and yeah make some yarn over there because well that's all I'm going but yeah oopsie Let me slow down a little bit so my daughter and my son their little pictures and then he put notes all around <laughs> those are some notes that I got and I appreciate so very much you're so sweet and that's it. I'll turn this bad boy around and talk to you for a little second. See you in a hoot. Alrighty, so oh, sorry I'm a mess. I was still getting things done. That is it. That is what I have been up to. So this week I will definitely um let me think. Oh, later on today I'm gonna to pick the winner. So look out for that video, or maybe tomorrow I'll do that. Later on today or t or tomorrow. Sorry for the stutter. I'm like, <laughs> I'll get that video out to you. Also, um, hmm, I've been working on things for my twelve days of craftness. I am so beyond beat. <laughs> so so beyond beat. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, I'm very stubborn. You tell me I can't do something. I'm like, nope, I'm going to show you I can do it. Just because for so long, I couldn't do things. Um, like I said, like in one of my past videos, if you, if you, um, watched it or not, um, I was 398 pounds. Um, not my fault. I mean, of course, it's my fault. I didn't know, like, doctor-wise. But um, I have health issues that caused me to gain weight. Uh, thyroidism, PCOS, endo. Oh, that word is so hard for me to say. Endo. Chudomotis. Oh, I don't even know. Um, plus fibromyalgia. Among other things. Anyway. Um, being that heavy... I could move around. I could do things like I'm still stubborn and still did things. 
But with my back and my body always aching, it was so, so, so hard. And I lost a little bit over 200 pounds. And, like, um, you know, I can move around a lot more now. I do have, like, a lot of skin on me, but I'm, you know, working on that, whatever. But it's just, like, I don't know. And the doctors tell you, like, oh, you can't do this or you're not going to live to this. Of course, I got really depressed and I was like, no, I'm going to, you know. And then you snap out of it. That's what happened the last time. I was really depressed. I was ready to give up. And then all of a sudden, you know, all your encouraging words and especially Crochet A, she messaged me and forced me. <laughs> it was so sweet to do her pattern, Ooh, which I got to show. Oh, my goodness. Those boot cuffs are going crazy. I have to show them. And then link her video down below because you have to do these boot cuffs. Um, well, leg warmers. But anyway, um, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let this get to me. And I bumped myself out of it. You know, it all happens to the best of us. You get into a funk and all of a sudden you snap out of it. And I thank you for that, helping me snap out of it. Snapped out of it. And... I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to let it get to me. I came this far. I'm going to go the distance. I know that I can. And that's what I'm doing. So even though I can't lift things, well, <clears throat> I have like a bad heart. So lifting things like puts a strain on my body and stuff. So I'm not going to lift things and plus my back and crap. Um... So sometimes I don't care and I lift it. <laughs> then I get in trouble with Mr. Who because he's like, you lifted things when I told you not to. But I feel so bad. Like he's at work, you know, and he's working, doing his thing. So I can, I should be able to run, the, which I do run the house, but I should be able to move things if I want to. <sighs> but anyway, this time I was a good girl. I waited for the heavy stuff. The light stuff I lifted, I didn't care. Um... But yeah, it took me so long, all week long last week, to get one, three, four rooms practically because eight and stuff, Alyssa's stuff, my bedroom, and then the third floor. Yeah, well, actually, which would be five rooms because it's split and the toy room and the craft rooms. Oh, that was a lot of packing I had to do. So much packing. Oh, I never want to pack again. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm really, really happy because now the kids can be either in their room or downstairs playing. I can definitely hear, you know, them. If somebody would come to the door or anything, you know, I can, you know, be able to hear everything. And so I'm so happy. I'm really, really ecstatic for my new craft room. I'm loving it. And it's really nice because at nighttime, um... You know, my insomnia nights, I can come over here, turn my little light on, sit at my table, and which I'm probably going to get a bigger table. That's just a little bedside table, so I'm going to get a ni nice size one. What was I saying? Oh, so sorry. I'm telling you, my mind just turns off on me, but I am loving it because now, like, when Mr. Hoot is sleeping... I'm not going to be disturbing him, even though he doesn't mind, but still. I can come over here, do my thing, and then when I get tired, go hop in bed. And I'm pretty sure he's not dreaming about yarn anymore. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, if you saw the last videos, like, my whole wall was all yarn. And then it was taken over on the other side, too, because on the other side, I started putting yarn and um, everything down there, so... Yeah, it's coming together. Um, I was, I don't know who I was watching, but I was watching something on YouTube and they had dollar store crates and they hung them on their wall and then they put like all the yarn in. It looks so pretty and they put other things too. So I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to do that all around the top part of the desk, my desk, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it all around the sides and stuff. So, I've got like a fuzz right here. There we go. <laughs> I had to look over here because you ever like look at the lights. Anyway, but 
Uh, yeah. <sighs> that is it. That is what I have been up to. So look out for either later today or definitely tomorrow. I'm going to announce the winner um, of my dreaded day. Boo. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to continue posting up my 12 days of craftness. I think we are in day four. So, yeah, I got some really cool things um, that me and my Lizzie poodle came up with. So, oh my goodness. So, I have this owl mold. It's a silicone mold. <laughs> and I was, yesterday, I baked a cake the other day. And I don't even eat sweets all like that. Like, seriously, I don't. I love my little chocolates. That's the only thing I do on my iced coffees. Ooh, I love flavors. So, I'll do my iced coffees. Um, so, anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a cake. So, I made this cake. And I actually saw it on Pinterest. I was like, ooh, that's so pretty. And I leave the bacon. To, I mean, I love the bake. And I love cooking. But ever since Mr. Hoot took over and, like, had done pumpkin rolls and everything way better than me, I gave up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I leave it to him because he's really good at baking. So anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm going to bake a cake. So it was chocolate. What was that? Um, chocolate. Hey, yeah, baby, that wasn't me. It's probably a kitty cat. No, he's so sweet. You okay, mommy? He's so he's the best. <laughs> um, get yourself an Aiden, ladies. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so it was chocolate, peppermint chocolate cake, and then it had, um white frosting and then I sprinkled little peppermint candies. I had peppermint Lindors. I crushed up and I sprinkled it all on top and made it look all fancy. It came out so cute. It tasted really, really good. Oh my goodness. So then my niece messaged me and my nephew. And they're like, they call me Nang. So when they were little, they could never say Jeanette, like Aunt Jeanette. So I don't know where this name came from, but my nephew Dardar, Darius, he, we always called him Dardar. So he's, <laughs> he, out of the blue, his little baby self said, Nang, Nang, Nang. And that's what they call me. So it's stuck. And so they're 20 now and I don't care. They still call me Nang. And I love it. So they messaged me, Nang, can you make me a cake? I said, a full cake? Yeah, I haven't had your sweets in the longest time. Can you please make me a cake? I said, oh, oh fine. And my niece, Brianna, she messaged me. Nan, can you please make me a cake too, please? There he is, and you're making him one. I can't just have a slice. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be doing um, later on, making them both a cake. Um, but anyway, yeah, I have an owl silica mode. So last night I was like, ooh, I wonder if I can make like a cake and put it in the silica mode. Well, I did. But I must have not, well, I know, I know, I didn't have it baking long enough because it was really like, unless I put too much pudding in the cake. I don't know, it was really, really moist. And so when I tried to pop them out, the face of it didn't form. So I didn't waste it. I put all the cake in a bowl and I mix it together like you would cake balls. I make these chocolate balls and the kids, I made them when I was younger, when the kids were really young, they were like five, maybe even younger than that. And I always made these chocolate balls. Well, I use, I use them out of cookies and sometimes do them on cake. Before cake pops came a thing, I created cake pops now. <laughs> but um, I started doing these little chocolate balls and they love them. Like I'll fill the middles with something and then like the cake goes around it and then you dip them in chocolate and stuff. So anyway... That's what I did with the cake. Um, I started doing that. But with the mold, I'm hoping it comes out. If it does, I'm going to take a picture and I'll show later. I hope, I'm hope i hoping so badly it comes out. So I took cream cheese and icing. And um, well, I made cream cheese icing and I blended it 
really, really good. And I um, put it in the mold and then I put it in the freezer. I let that get hard and then I filled it with the cake. Press the cake into it and then I'm going to put um, a small thin chocolate, melted chocolate on top. And I'm hoping it comes out. Oh, I hope so, Bailey. When I pop it out, it's perfecto. Because they were going to be so cute. Uh, I hope they come out. I'm not even going to want to eat them because they're going to be owls. <laughs> so I'm going to have to like try to like store them where they last forever. Just kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah. So then the rest of the cake that I had left over, I rolled in the balls. And so I'm teaching Alyssa because she wants to... Sorry, my finger itched. <laughs> Alyssa wants to learn really badly how to make them. So we rolled them in the balls. And so today we're going to, I have chocolate. I'm going to melt it and then we're going to dip them in the chocolate, let them harden, and then sprinkle a little um, crushed up peppermints on top and make it look really pretty. So yeah, well, that's what we're going to be doing. And so I will, you know what? That's what I'll do. We'll do that. I'll show you guys how they came out. And then we will do the giveaway winner. Sound good? Keep me to it. <laughs> Keep my brain to it. Put the vibes out there. Don't forget the giveaway. Don't forget the giveaway. Okay? Send me those vibes. So then I don't forget. And then I remember when we're done with the little cake thingies. And then I can get on a show and do the giveaway. Alrighty, I'm so sorry if I'm like shaky, shaky. I keep forgetting this is a rocking chair. And I'm like, yay, rocking on it. <laughs> um, I hope you like video craft room because I'm going to most likely be uh, video from in here. From now on, I have my stand up, which is so nice. I usually did it in the living room, which I didn't mind. Um, You know what I should have done? I should have showed you the before and after. I just thought about that. Actually, Alyssa said... Put everything back. So you could show us a girl. Uh-uh. <laughs> I am not doing that. It'd take another week to put everything back. And then another week to pack it all up again. No, thank you. But uh, I really should have. I should have showed you my before craft room. And then after. But I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm so sorry for that. So I hope you like the new craft room. I sure do. I am in love with it. It is so beyond nice. Um, I'm going to get some little dangly lights hanging all around. And, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm trying to find uh, owl, like, crochet. Now, I have a pattern for this owl, like, crochet granny square type blanket. But I want to look for something to do... Um, like a doily, you know, like the curtain doilies, but in owls, because I want to make my own little curtain. Oh, but I want to do it like with owls. So I'm looking around for it. If not, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's the weather. It looks like it's going to snow today, which is so weird because the past two days has been hot, muggy feeling and rainy. And then all of a sudden last night it got freezing cold. And then today it's freezing and really really white outside so it definitely looks like it's gonna snow which i can't wait for but i will hope it just stays like stay nice and snowy you know don't do this hot and cold stuff because that affects me um but yeah i really want to look for that curtain if not i'm going to try to create my own hopefully um but yeah Alrighty, that's all i have for today well, for right now, not for today, but for right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you really liked everything. And I will be back later. Hopefully our cakes come out good. And I can show you. Hope you are having a hooterific day. So far I am. Um, and then my hoots. Every time I'm in my hoots, I'm having a hooterific day. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hootin' to now. Bye.